Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So because I film a lot of these digital speed paints and stuff in advance, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen this illustration, so it's nothing like really new. But, um, and I'm not sure about the response on my digital stuff in terms of like video content. So if you guys don't prefer to see digital stuff, then please do let me know. Um, it's just easier for me to film sometimes because I can just put, um, my screen recording application in the background and I can just digitally paint and then I can pause whenever I want to and it's just easier for me to edit but if this is something that you're not too interested in please let me know and I can try to keep it more towards like traditional medium which tends to be the most um videos that you guys seem to be more interested in but I do enjoy doing digital art so if you want to see more please let me know um so this particular piece is of 17 Stogiam um just based on a few things that were happening on Twitter um I guess by the time this video comes out it might have been a week or two already passed since that last V live where he was crying um, because he was so thankful about carrots being very kind and sweet to him um, yeah I just wanted to draw him with a bunch of sunflowers with a cute sun hat and just overall good vibes um, yeah because in the carrot fandom at least um, he's our sunshine basically he's literally the sun um, yeah, I don't have too much to talk about. Um, in terms of process, I usually do my sketch on a colored layer. I've been doing this mostly on the iPad, so um, I just decided to do that and paint to the side now. So I do my sketch on a multiply layer, which is above a background color. Um, usually one that either sets the mood or just anything that isn't white. Um, just it just helps um especially when digitally painting i don't like having lots of white space around um it's just easier for me to match colors and set a mood or an atmosphere or lighting or just picking colors in general um and then after that i will either duplicate the layer if i'm smart um then i will put base colors underneath and because of the multiply layer um, a lot of the line art will change colors to match closer to a lot of the base colors and then I'll put another multiply layer above all of that, add the shadows, and then add another layer for any extra colors or lighting, and then I merge everything together except for the duplicated sketch and the background. And then um, on the merged layer, I will paint everything on top basically. Um, yeah, I'll keep this voiceover fairly short as well, and I'll talk to you guys next time for another video. Hopefully it'll be a traditional watercolor video or something, sketchbook doodles video, who knows. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!